guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so we'll be seeing the bugs which has been occurred inside the covid uh, backlog booking system and we'll see what all the things to be done and what all the bugs so how we can resolve all those things so i got a lot of uh, comments like uh, <coughs> like uh, they are getting uh, the error that uh, edge word object is none type something like that and a number of uh, gmails or a number of things i got inside my gmail as well as in the comment section so many people are stuck with that one so let's uh, resolve that particular bug and the main thing is uh, like uh, i was logged in at that time so i am not able to access the particular error so when you are uh, newly accessing the code when your installations uh, are done and when you are importing the code at that time you are getting that kind of error at a time of in i right so i'll just open the main.python file so i'll just uh, run this uh, file so i'll just uh, run the particular main.py file main right now i'll just on the apache server as well as the mysql server okay so once it has been uh, started, I'll just click on the administration over here. So let's take a little bit time. So I'll just open this thing inside the command cell. Okay. So now I'll just tell uh, Python Python main dot file. So let's see where is the exact uh, where the particular error has been occurred. Okay. So I'll just open the Google Chrome. And a number of people are saying do this particular project, do that particular project. So sorry, I cannot do that one. So you can just uh, see the particular uh, code. Like I uh, can just see I have added the full eight hours of uh, video. So where exact all the topics has been covered. So same topics you can use and you can build any of your projects. So it's your uh, completely it's your choice. Okay. So thank you for the support from your side so i want like i am just seeing in my channel like a number of people are visiting they are uh, 10 000 views fifteen thousand views but their subscribers they are not subscribing the channel please subscribe my channel and uh share with your friends all those things so now coming back to the topic so i'll just uh, open the zam server so i have added it so now uh, coming back to the code so the server i have been started so i'll just right click and uh, control and plus click onto this link okay so the covid home covid paid uh, slot booking project will get open so this is our fully fledged project so now where your people are getting here is so once the user is logged in so as i said how to change the user login so so where is that yeah so i want to use the for the user login right for the user login i need to enter the srf id and this one first i need to add for the administration so i will just do for the admin login over here so once the admin has been logged in so once i click on to the code so here you see so I have added the configuration dot file. So where I am having username, password, and my enter my Gmail ID as well as the particular password. Okay. So this is the two things I need to add. So I have need to give the user as well as the password same as it is. So I'll just check whether the things works or not. So seriously, I have not. Uh, uh, so what is the error? So directly I am just uh, debugging right now, and I am even recording the thing. So you people will get to know where the mistake is been done. So once I logged in. So I have been login success. So now I'm easily able to access this uh, code, right? So I'm easily able to access uh, this code. So where I need to add the hospital user. So now I have removed the Gmail access over here. If you want to remove the Gmail access, if you don't want to uh, put any Gmail ID directly without uh, uh, internet, your project must run. Then at that time, you can just enable uh, disable these two things. So it just I have been added the, my Gmail user as well as the Gmail password, right? But right now it is not there. So now I'll just go to the main configuration dot python pi. So where here is the thing where I need to add the hospital information, right? So not this is not the thing. I think uh, here. So I'll just see what is the thing. It is for the admin, right? So where admin is adding the hospital code, email as well as a password. So I'll be seeing where it is been written. So here is the thing. Username and the password is there for the admin. So once it is been added, it will just go to the add hospital login. So here this is for the hospital login code and this is for the srf okay this is for the normal user and uh, this is the sign up thing is different and coming back to the thing where i have only the three attribute let me check yeah this is the hospital user right so i'll just control c and i'll just do the control f control v so i'll just search where is the ad hospital user this is the thing right so here what i'll do here is so the admin is adding the details right so here has code email as well as a password has been going on so here is the uh, H code email as well as the password has been uh, written so that admin will get added. So when it will generate the password and the thing will get into the upper code and uh, it will query the some uh, email id dot first from this uh, user and all the things will go but the mail is going to send over here. So I'll just write one comment over here. My mail starts 
from here. Now here, if you if you need to send mail, uncomment the below line. Okay, below line. Okay, if you want to use the email access, if you want to send the particular mail to the hospital user, or if you want to access in another way, you can access it. For right now, what I'll do here is I don't want to you create all the email stuff right now so i'll just comment it out okay so from the line number 292 line number 299 i'll just comment the code okay so i'll just comment it over here so once i add directly the data will get inserted okay so without sending the mail so that uh, I, I will can just debug that particular kind of error so this is only one line if you want to access the mail you need to uncomment this line of code then you need to add in the configuration dot file json file you need to add your gmail user as well as the password i have shown in the previous videos okay so kindly do that particular thing so i'll just uh, now i'll just add the code over here so now i'll just uh, add the code so i'll just a hospital code right so this time i'll just add the hospital code i'll just tell a r k i'll just tell a r k 1 2 3 so this is the hospital code so let's tell a r k 1 2 3 at gmail.com this is a dummy email i'm putting it because the email is i have removed the email access right so one two three four five six so one two three four five six here yeah, to one two three so i'll just log in, adding so once i add the hospital uh, data the data has been added now so now i need to log in with the hospital data so the email will be get sent when uh, the data whatever the data has been there that the particular data will get sent to the email so now right now i have commented the code so that i can uh, like i can i have not added the gmail password and uh, uh, the particular gmail id because of that the only reason so yeah let's try login with the credential erk123 at gmail.com and i'll just log in with the 123 i think 123 right once i log in it okay erk123 at gmail.com so i'll just tell 123456 i think so let's log in it so once i log in it you can see the thing is going to get login is success right so till here everything is working fine i don't know where you people are getting error so once i click on to the add hospital data so let me see is the error where is the error so i'm getting this kind of page right so there is no error i'm getting so once they're clicking on to the add hospital data at that time i think they are getting the error i don't know so till here everything was working fine for me so let's see what is the data here now so now here is a one uh, major uh, important point i need to say so here is the enter the hospital code right so here the hospital code you need to enter what so the pattern the, see if i in my uh, where is the particular what is the database name here so i think the database name have been used as the covid right so that name, name is covid so here is the database table so here where is the hospital users are there so you receive hospital user is there right so if the person so here i have been access with the so this is a welcome ark123 at gmail.com so ark123 ark123 at gmail.com is here so yeah you need to give the same h, h reference code you need you should not give any other different uh, if you are giving wrong hospital code you will be getting an error so because of that uh, i think you might getting the error so now <coughs> what i'll do here is a little bit i'll debug it automatic it should take the hospital code over here so if the user is logged in automatic the hospital who is the person is accessing it should uh, be shown over there so let me see what i can do for here is mm, i'll just see here where is the uh, stuff okay, okay okay i'll just go back to the add hospital data so here you see in my so where it is showing here you see i'm getting welcome erk at gmail.com right so from where i'm getting it it is getting from the index.html or base.html <coughs> i think from the base.html file so here is i am getting the current user welcome the particular current user dot email so from here i am getting right so welcome current user dot email so i'll just copy the same thing i'll just copy the same thing i'll just see where the hospital data has been getting added so add hospital user is done so here is the uh, add hospital user has been coming so i add hospital data okay from this particular python file sorry the html file the data has been coming right so where i can just uh, see the h code here so what i'll do here is i'll just add the value here so i'll just give the value I'll just tell value is equal to so if I just give the value is equal to a a a if I just save it if I refresh the page so if I just uh, enter again so you can see <coughs> the a has been automatically has been taken over here so this time at the place of this one what I'll do here is I'll paste this one I'll just tell current user email I'll just tell current user dot 
h code if i just save this much hospital code let me see whether it is coming or not if i refresh so you can see automatic the hospital code is been taking now so there is no uh, point of giving the hospital code from the user automatic it should take okay this will i'll just give it here so along with this i'll just make it disabled over here so that uh, no one can uh, edit it i'll just tell disabled oh sorry not disabled here i need to enter it here i think so i need to just tell uh disabled over here so i need to just give the disabled uh, thing right here so if i just uh, do like this if i refresh it so you can see no one can change the particular data now so now it is being changed so this is one bug i will i have just fixed with not a bug just uh you people should not do any mistakes so i have been given over here so enter the hospital name so i'll just give it the hospital name as erk hospital okay hospital done so normal i'll just give some uh, random numbers over here okay so if i just click on to the add data so here i'm getting a non object has been no uh, no attribute it is upper case so none type object has no attribute upper so where i'm getting this error h code dot upper so i'm getting right here right okay okay so i'm getting h code from here so let me see where is the error i'm getting it so if i just go back to the main dot python file <clears throat> so here i'm getting right so not here not here okay add hospital user email password and group that is done so that is uh perfectly it has been getting perfectly so the error i am getting so the error i am getting here the h code because uh, the thing is not getting passed over so i need to so i think i have given the upper case i think because of that it has been uh, h code has been getting like that so what i'll do here is uh just don't change the particular attribute right now so i don't want to just uh i'll just give it as a disabled right so i'll just remove this one so here the value have been given uh, as like so i'll just remove one extra space from here sorry like this so name is h code everything has been there i'll just save the file again everything i'll just save it so now coming back to the code so i'll just go back okay so now again i'll just refresh the page so now it has been taking ark123 so i'll just give the hospital ark ark hospital hospital the normal bed available 15 55 something i'll just give it i'll just click on to the add so once i click on to the add information so i can see the data has been getting added so all the things working fine i don't know why you people are getting if i just see want to see now you can see <coughs> i here get uh, 22 year hospital to uh, 55 22 22 everything has been working fine so all the data has been coming i don't know what is the error you people are getting it i don't understand if i just give it as a yeah update to the 50 so the thing is being you can see the 50 has been updated over here so everything is working fine okay so just i think you are doing the, this particular kind of mistake so because of this uh, mistake you are getting the errors over there okay so now i'll just log out from here so I'll let's log in again as a as i'll just do the mm, i'll just uh, do all the stuff right now so what i'll do here is i'll just come back to the home page so now i'll i'll in, in front of you guys i'll just do all the part over here so this kind of thing i'll just uh, make it fast so i'll just log in for, first i'll just log in admin login i'll do it so from the admin login See, at the time it is one important uh, concept i will be saying here so when you are adding so what it is written is adding the enter the hospital code right so whichever the hospital by seeing the hospital which you want by seeing the uh, number of the beds you need to enter the same hospital code over here so right now i want to use the hospital of erk123 so erk hospital i need to do i'll just enter the same erk123 hospital code okay so this is one, one thing you need to make uh, sure so let's give the oxygen level 88 patient name um, uh, i'll just give one two three four five six seven eight nine ten address uh, bangalore so let's book the slot so once i book the slot you can see the book has been so the slot has been booked perfectly okay so now if i just click on the patient details so you can see k one two three five five everything has been booked so now if i just go back to the available beds so 
okay so let's go back to the home page so yeah let's uh, so this one thing is not targeting so if i just click on the book slot so you can see here okay, hospital so the one particular uh, number has been reduced from the particular normal check the bed i have been used okay so everything is working fine so i don't know where is the error you people are getting so you are facing it so kindly so once i have see i have shown you the demo right now itself so i have forwarded same use same way to uh, access it first access with the administration then after admin is logged in after the admin is logging add the hospital user the data will go to the gmail use the same data for the hospital login purpose then add the data of the hospital so don't at the time of adding the uh, data so there will be automatic hedge code will be there don't change the hospital code which is given by the admin keep it as it is then uh, once the hospital data has been added then what you need to do login so user or log user will be logging and he'll be booking the particular slot okay so everything is working fine so there is no any errors with this uh, code so everything is working i don't know where you people saw so just i debug the only one thing over here this is the one current.user.h code that's it so right all everything has been working fine and one more thing so, so many people are not able to get this configuration dot file so it will tell like config.json is not found file is not found like that so if you are getting such kind of thing so just uh, put this configuration dot file just copy this configuration dot file put it into the templates also put it into the static files also so then uh, put it every wherever you like you just put it okay so now i have with the uh, configuration i have been copied right so it is in the right right so dbms 2022 2021 so here is there so just uh, the config.json file is there right just copy this file suppose i am saying if you are getting that kind of error so just put it outside the one directory or inside one directory anywhere so automatically it will fetch the configuration.json file okay so that only the things will there so let's uh, just everything is working fine there is no error with this uh, code so i hope uh, you have understood so i will just uh, upload this entire code again so whatever the changes have been done you can just access it okay so thank you guys uh, i'll be seeing you in my next video bye